talk about voxel tools. The first one is the vox clay. You only have a few options available here. I'll go for the standard constant pressure brush and start drawing around so you get this kind of thick layering on top. This brush you draw, if you just press, it will start to grow it out. If you press control, it will start to melt it in. I think the melting behavior is really cool. You can get interesting shapes doing that. You can really melt it down through the whole uh, surface, the whole volume. Build brush allows you to pick an alpha. You cannot do it with draw or box. And that then allows you to do interesting patterns, interesting structures around. It also, you can also switch to different shapes. These shapes here are fairly useless. I wouldn't recommend them to use other tools to do this stuff better, but you do have an option to kind of extrude out of the surface. We have a smooth brush. However, if you press shift, it will be smooth by default. You don't really need to pick it to do anything. And we have fill. The fill will fill all the cavi cavities around. Really useful in certain applications. Then we have cuff tool, which I use quite quite a bit. You can shoot a bit of alphas and it will give you some interesting effects. It's quite a free form brush, jumps around, does powerful uh, cuts, powerful extrusions. Cuff tool is a really cool brush. Here you don't have regular brushes uh, out of a selection. You do have the shapes. So now I can start drawing the shapes out. And you can see we have these blocks. I usually use I usually do it from the orthogonal projection, so top right left view. And this the thickness of the blob is decided by the size of your brush. So if I made my brush smaller, it will be a smaller bit. Sphere brush allows you to draw outside the volume containment, and you can go draw freehand. You cannot change sphere to anything else, so if you change it to a different alpha, it will still going to be a sphere. What you can do is you can change the brush to behave like that, so you can connect different points between a volume. I use it to create some structures uh, quite a bit. Another great brush is 2D Paint. So by default, it gives you this red rectangular, which you are assigned to the cursor. So if I right click, it will define me a plane. And then I will start drawing, and I'm drawing some intricate alpha, creating unusual effects right drawn right in the air. So if I start drawing here, and I right click there to define the surface, I can right click here, it will be like an angulated surface. And let me jump peaks, right kind of circle. And they have the full tool, uh, tool control, full brush control. So a lot of uh, a lot of things to play with. And also duplicates the control of a blob tool. Plane brush behaves like a cutter, so I still have my own plane thin to define a plane. And then it, if I draw it, I will cut it so it will not go through the whole mesh, it will only go through a part of the mesh, like that. So right click, define, and if I switch to a brush, I can just right click and I picked up our own brush, right click, start just cutting it through, right click there, cutting it through. Allows you a more controlled cuts. Then we have scrape, just a brush, which has, essentially allows you to scrape off some bits of the mesh. If say you're creating an environment, like a, a ruin, a damaged environment, this is really good. It does a quite natural uh, destruction. To the environment so i can recommend it to use, to use it there and we have pinch pinch in the voxel is actually not that great it will do this it can do interesting stuff but i feel like it's overdoing it and the clay draw pinch is much better but i will talk about that later so then we have smudge and smudge it essentially smudging everything together Pretty strong, even at low values. And a quick tip, I will not be talking about the clay draw brushes in the voxel series because they belong to sculpt mode. However, I will show you this, the pinch brush. It has a really nice organic uh, profile to it, but you have to press enter to commit it. So every time you do something, I have to press enter and that will commit it to the voxel space. 